Thanks. to you in a bit. There is one key change that sets this election apart from the past, the redistribution of seats right across the country. 30 new MPs will be elected into the House. 87% of the riding boundaries have been redrawn for this election. Eric Sorensen is going to walk us through the evolution of Canada's parliament. Donna, tonight for the 42nd time, Canadians are electing their members of parliament. But our House of Commons is changing and expanding. 2015 is the last time this chamber will house 308 MPs. As the country has grown, the House of Commons has grown with it. In 1867, Canada was a fraction of its current size. Ridings were drawn up, some names still familiar today. The first 180 members of Parliament were elected in Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. As the country expanded to Manitoba and British Columbia, the House of Commons grew to more than 200 MPs. The seating plan has changed. They've rearranged the furniture many times to accommodate expansion. Over time, Canada added new provinces and territories, and the House of Commons grew to more than 300 MPs. Now the biggest change since Confederation. To balance population growth, 30 new ridings have been added. Another 282 ridings have changed boundaries. And so, one last look at the standings at disillusion. The Conservatives in blue on the government benches, the NDP and Liberals in opposition. And on every election night, we start with a clean slate. And tonight we add those 30 new seats to bring us to 338. Each one will be claimed by a new member of the 42nd Parliament. Donna.